Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Michaela, and I make natural hair, beauty, and lifestyle content. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I prep my headband wigs. So I love headband wigs because it is super easy to just pop on and go. Once you know how to prep the wig and prep your natural hair so that the blend looks seamless, okay, it is one of my go-to styles. So today I'll be working with the Her Given Hair Coily Headband Wig. 20 inches in length, it's the natural color. I didn't do 1B or anything like that, it's the natural color. My hair, I tend to think of my hair as 1B because it's like a, a grayish black. And I'm gonna be using just one product, all right? Just one product to prep this wig. So not only is it fast, but it doesn't take a lot of prep, okay? So it's fast to pop on, it doesn't take a lot of prep. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to press like and also subscribe to my channel. Why don't you go ahead and do that right now before we jump into the video. Thank you, girl. All right, so let's jump right in. Let me show you how I prep this wig, let's go. All right, guys, so this is how the hair looks when it is dry. This is after I have worn it for a couple days, couple weeks, I'm not sure here. It's been a while since I've washed it, but it gets to a really natural looking frizz level. It gets kind of puffy and um, it gets bigger in volume as the days go on. So that's something to be aware of as well. And this is how it looks inside. So these are the straps. So you have the Velcro strap, which you, you tie around the back of your hair. And then you also have these adjustable straps where you can make it smaller or bigger depending on your head size. So I get the small cap, but even still, sometimes I feel like I need to make it even tighter. So now I'm gonna wash the hair. Washing the hair, pretty straightforward. Uh, I am just looking to detangle the curls, get rid of any clumps. I'm using the Pantene Pole Wash. And this product, it's cool. I like it more for my wigs than for my own hair. I'm actually just trying to get rid of product here, so can't really give you like a review on that. But anywho, I'm just using it to like get rid of product buildup and go ahead and detangle, get the clumps out of the curls, just get rid of anything that's left over from the last time I prepped it. And um, in addition to the dark and lovely co-wash, I'm also gonna use the Aussie Three Minute Miracle Moist Deep Conditioner. I use this more as a conditioner to continue with getting rid of residue, but also to make sure the curls are really moist and conditioned and ready to be styled. So that's what I use. I also, to help me with detangling, also call in a good old detangling brush. In this case, I am using the Denman Paddle Brush. And this paddle brush I like because it covers a lot of surface area at once, so I can just get in there, get a bunch of hair in the brush at once and get those clumps out. So brush is a little bit overpriced you absolutely don't need this <laughs> to this is just you know something that I have so it's in my arsenal might as well use it so I'll go ahead and do that and detangle it all the way out pretty simple pretty straightforward right all right and now it's the next day this is the wig after it has dried overnight so this Nairobi foaming it's called Nairobi Styling Foam, love it. Again, I have my Denman paddle brush handy and then I have my holy grail Felicia Leatherwood brush. Guys, I use the Felicia Leatherwood on my natural hair and on my wigs, it's the holy grail. So for styling, we're gonna use one product. This is what we're using. We're using a Nairobi, we're gonna go in with three pumps and then we are just going to finger comb it through the hair right get in there you can even just finger comb but i like to really make sure that every curl is being separated and as you saw in the beginning this hair does get really puffy so you want to start with it as detangled and flat as possible so i do that throughout the whole head and the great thing about these wig stands is you can really just rotate it now as you can see my girl is on the Eileen. I do not know if anyone knows how to get your wig head to not do that let me know but anyway me and her we just fought while I did this little process of getting the styling foam all up in the wig and detangled and this took mm, like two minutes so this is us the next morning, you guys. Look at these curls. 
so nice and set the wig is completely dry at this point so I'm just turning it around so you can see what she looks like and yes I refer to all my wigs as she okay um, <laughs> and so this is me smiling all I've done to prep my edges is I have basically just put some gel on the edges you can use whatever gel that you like I will link the one that I use I just use the wet line extreme gel to style the hair so now I'm going ahead and I'm adding the adjustable straps adding those in there making it as small as possible I like it as small as possible and I also I've been trying really hard not to use combs so as a result of that I really have to make sure that it is as close to my head size as possible and this particular wig even though I got a size small it felt big on my head so I made sure I use those adjustable straps and put them as close as possible so here I just plop on the wig over my wig cap and then I do put in that back comb. So once that back comb is secure, okay, I just had to dust that hater stray hair off. All right. So once that back comb is in, all I do is I go in, I grab the two Velcro straps, and I I like to actually again again only because this unit is a little big on me. I tie it in a knot and then I secure the Velcro. Sorry, it's really hard to show you guys that, but I think that's pretty self-explanatory. So now that. I have it secured on my head. I begin the process of fluffing it out a little. So I use my Black Power Fist pick and I just go in. I go into the top. Not so much the very ends because I, I want them to stay like to have a little curl at the end. So I just really go in by the roots and fluff it out a little bit. I love working with a pick better than my hands. I used to do my hands and what I realized is the pick just helps it to be fluff without pulling out the curl pattern. So now I'm trying on my different headbands. You guys can style this any way you want. They even send some headbands with this wig, but these headbands are from Amazon, so I'll link them. But, um, ooh, look at this one. This is a look, you guys. I think I like this one. I think this might be, this is a move. I like this. So yeah, I like it really puffy. I like it big. I love big hair. But also, it naturally continues to get big throughout the week. So I'm not going to fluff it any more than this because it's going to do its thing, especially when I go outside, humidity, all that good stuff. Um, this is what I was talking about. This is one of the headbands that it comes with. And it's cool, but it's a little bit of work for me to like put it over my whole head right now. So I'm not going to do that. Another thing I do sometimes, especially like working out, you can just pull it back into a ponytail. So I'm just demonstrating that for you. But I think I'm just going to leave it like that for today. Excuse me while I take a couple of um, potential, uh, ooh, look at me, I'm feeling myself. Y'all forgive me. But this is how you can see, look at the blend, girl. Look at the blend. All right, I think I'm taking a um, thumbnail here. Let me let me turn my, what's gonna be my thumbnail? Ooh, ooh. But <laughs> y'all don't mind me. Get this wig if you want an easy throw on and go wig that's going to match your texture. I think I'm like a 4B, 4C. I never know with these letters, but it's very easy with gel to get the blend to look seamless. And with all these different headband options, you can match it with any outfit and you are good to go. So I hope this was helpful. I'll link all the details in the description box. And with that, I'll see y'all in the next video. All right, guys. So there you have it. This is the hair after I have fluffed and picked it to my liking. You can wear it less full. You can wear it full like me if that's how you like it, whatever floats your boat. But as you can see, once your hair is prepped, it's super easy and fast to slap it on the next morning. The process takes five to 10 minutes. You can wear this wig to the gym. You can wear it to go to work. You can wear it out with your friends. Everyone's going to love it. They're going to ask you how you do your hair, what's your regimen, or even where you got it from. doesn't matter. It still looks bomb. And I know for me, I really, really like hair that is very easy to put on, prep, and go. Like, I can't be in my bathroom all day trying to blend stuff. So I love this. I just slick back my edges, and we're good to go. So again, this is the 20-inch Her Given Hair Coily Headband Wig. I'll drop the link to it in the comments. And if you like this tutorial, like this wig, don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel because there's more tutorials coming. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.